What is going on guys? It is your boy Bio2K and today man, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a pretty important video I feel like and this is something that a lot of people have been trying to figure out over the last couple days And that is gonna be what is happening with the collector level Jason Tatum now you guys can see I am at 20 or 2830 cards I think the highest you can be right now is like 3400 or 3500 somewhere around there uh, but the point is we're still a really good amount of cards away so with the next season coming up uh in just a few days here obviously you know there's gonna be a few things that we are gonna be seeing on friday uh we're probably gonna be seeing a new domination which is obviously gonna give us a good amount of cards at most it could give us like 60 cards if they do the whole jersey thing again so okay cool 60 more cards there maybe with the new promo with tokens everything like that we're gonna be looking at maybe like i don't know i want to say like maybe like 70 to 80 new cards coming on friday so even with that being said we're still gonna be a pretty you know we're still gonna be a pretty decent amount away from this jason tatum and the reason why i wanted to make this video is because yesterday we actually did finally see brand new moments in this game and one of them was a dark matter tatum so one of the things that i think people were trying to figure out is you obviously have this tatum here and i think a lot of people were trying to figure out you know what like what is the point of the collector level tatum and you know is he going to be worth it by any means this is going to be a video where we are basically going to be covering that and talking about that if you guys do enjoy this video do me a favor and leave a like if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button also, um, I did put up a, you know, thing in my community tab. I'm going to be putting up a poll, so be sure to go check that out. It's going to be probably up around, like, 2 or 3 Eastern time. Uh, so be sure to go check that out when you guys uh, can. So, let's get into this video. Hey, guys, before we get into this video, I did want to announce my brand new partnership with G Fuel Energy. G Fuel is one of the best drinks that you guys can use while you are gaming, and now you guys can actually use code BIO2K for 30% off your final order for a limited time. After that, the code will drop down to 10%, so make sure you guys do take advantage of that 30% now. It's going to go from April 22nd to April 26th, so make sure you guys go ahead and use the code. After that, like I said, though, the code will be 10% off. You guys can go to their website here at gfuel.com. You guys can see they have a ton of different flavors, including some with zero sugar, so if you guys are worried about that i got you guys covered there as well i hope you guys do take the time to check out this product because when i tell you guys i drink this every stream every video every day i tell you guys right now it does work and it really does help you improve at gaming so hopefully you guys check it out i hope you guys did enjoy this video or i hope you guys do enjoy this video and uh yeah peace so this dark matter tatum obviously like you know when you take a look at him his stats and badges are really good his animations are relatively solid as well and a lot about this card is pretty good. Um, but I, I guess the only badge that, you know, like he does obviously have, you know, a good, you know, amount of badges missing. But realistically, there's two badges he would need, and that is Rim Protector and Blinders. Now, Blinders is obviously the main one. If you take a look at his stats, his three ball is a 96, driving dunk is a 98, uh, ball handling is an 86. I mean, defense uh, is already really good for a Jason Tatum card. 90 rebounding, 94 speed, and 94 or 95 lateral quickness. So, um, obviously, he is also a power forward slash small forward. So, again, it kind of leaves some room for interpretation of what we are going to be thinking this Tatum is going to be. Now, one thing I think a lot of people have been speculating is if this Tatum is going to be a GOAT card. Now, here is why I think it actually is going to be a part of the GOAT cards that do come out. And, you know, again, I'm going to try to, you know, explain this in the best way possible. So, if you guys don't know what GOAT cards are, in 2K20, GOAT cards were cards that were basically like 99 everything cards. They had 99 everything, and then a few stats would be 97 or 98, but primarily they'd be 99 everything. The badges on the cards were insane. Um, and I think this Tatum is going to be, I don't think he's going to be the start of them, but I think they're already, already going to be coming out. And then this Tatum is going to kind of fit right into that. I also do think he is going to be a point guard slash shooting guard. So I think he is going to have that ability to play those bigger positions and stuff like that. So kind of talking about again, why I think this Tatum is going to be a goat card. Like I said, if I think the closest somebody could be right now is like, maybe it is even only like 500 cards away. So we are in May right now. 
the normal life cycle of 2k does die off at around july like at the end or i would say midway through july is where the game just like dies and like that's it you know what i mean august is normally spent throwing up and doing random squad builders and unlimited you know it's been to you know you guys know what i mean like it, it, the whole life cycle just kind of crashes in that moment so at this point i'm kind of looking at the game's life cycle we are in may so we basically have the full month of may we have june and we have half of july so we have two and a half months maybe three months left of the game's life cycle to get content with and this is around the time where goat cards i think are going to start making their way into the game so the first goat card we did end up seeing last year was actually kobe bryant and that was a part of spotlight sims that card actually dropped at the end of april so we're already kind of past the whole point of where goat cards ended up dropping into the game last year so when you take a look at that and realize that again this year is kind of on track to do the same thing like i said tatum being 500 cards away even if it's i don't really know exactly the number because again i don't have every card collected and you know you can look at the amount of players there's like 2700 players in the game um like player cards but again then you have all these jerseys you have um what you have the logos the courts the coaches like everything like that so i mean like i said i don't know the exact number so say even if you are 400 away right we'll just we'll completely push it 400 cards away even if a content drop happens on friday where it puts a ton of cards in the game and you're 70 to 80 cards in again you're still going to be over 200 cards away from or 300 cards away whatever i said before like you're still going to be a ton of cards away which is the point so you're still a few promo drops away you're still a spotlight sim away like you're still a good amount away and i feel like that isn't going to happen and i feel like tatum isn't going to be accessible until about june if i'm being completely honest i think whatever season starts in june or whatever the case is there i think that is where we're going to end up seeing um I think that's where we're going to end up seeing, you know, this Tatum be obtainable. And I think at that point, GOAT cards are going to be a thing. If you already take a look at some of the cards we have been seeing, we're already getting those GOAT-like cards dropping in this game. You have Ben Simmons, which I know Ben Simmons, as far as stats, aren't really insane. Actually, I want to get one without a shoe. So can somebody please have a Ben Simmons without a shoe? Thank you. I was about to say. Everybody's got one. So Ben Simmons already, you know, Dark Matter Ben, he's already got the 94 three ball, 95 driving dunk, you know, good defense, good rebounding, good speed, blah, 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 blah. But more importantly, obviously, when you look at the badges, he does already come with Hall of Fame range, and that is a huge deal on this card. So right away, you know, again, you're seeing guys like Ben Simmons. Obviously, we're seeing guys like Bull Bull, where they are those demigods in this game that just are completely cracked beyond belief. So, like I said, whereas we're already seeing some of these guys dropping, this is around the time where I could see, you know, different cards coming out. KD's most recent card is a center slash shooting guard, so I expect to see him coming out soon. Um, and he's obviously going to be even better because they're probably going to just go ahead and throw blinders on him. He doesn't have that yet. Um, and I could see that easily happening. Some other guys, I mean, we already seen this Kareem. Kareem is already insane if you give him a shoe obviously he can get really high up with the three ball and everything like that with a coach it's already in the 90s so obviously there is still room for improvement on these cards but like you guys can kind of see what i'm saying where even a guy like wilt chamberlain who's already kind of cracked in itself all you really need is a coach and a shoe and he already has a high three ball so with the whole idea of goat cards you know kind of coming out soon i think it is fair to say that you know jason tatum is going to be a goat card now this is going to open up the whole other thing about you know is is he going to be worth it you know what i mean even a guy like blake griffin if you were to compare him to the pink diamond that did come out in the beginning of the year in season two when you were able to get okay apparently i can't even compare him because he is, oh yeah you can wait okay yeah you can i mean if you're going to compare these stats obviously the driving dunk is the same but you guys can see the three ball is looking really good the defense is really good the rebounding the speed the stamina like everything you know on the new one is obviously looking really good and again blake's not even considered a goat card so um i again i know people are gonna kind of try to see oh is it worth it you know what i mean is it really worth going for tatum i'm gonna be completely real with you i don't think so i said collector level from the beginning of the year you guys can go back to my first video of 2k21 and i straight up said no tatum is not gonna be worth it the reason why is 2000 cards for lillard made sense you know what i mean at that point there was a ton of different things dropping it was actually relatively easy to get 2000 cards i got him and 
it wasn't that bad it really wasn't that hard and he was he was useful i mean he really had a use to him and it made sense tatum on the other hand coming out way too late in the season like if tatum was to come out like today or at the start of season seven that answer may have been different but at this point where tatum is so far ahead into the game's life cycle that you're already going to be having you know if he is a point guard slash shooting guard you're already going to have guys like Kawhi. you're going to want to run at the two maybe a paul george maybe a larry bird maybe a kd you know you already have all these guys that you're going to want to run there and then if it's at the one you already have ben you're gonna have the new luca that's gonna come out soon enough you're gonna want to run pistol pete maybe if you got him you're gonna want to run magic you're gonna want to run any of these other guys lamar odom if he gets a point guard card like you're gonna want to run all these other guys that are gonna be so much cheaper than getting this tatum so honestly for me i don't think this tatum is worth it by any means but on the bright side i do think that this does kind of confirm goat cards on their way let me know what you guys think uh let me know if you guys think that goat cards are coming um i mean it, it we're gonna have to see what happens here i'm interested to see though what they do for level 40 next season uh because obviously you know it's gonna be probably about three and a half weeks away from today um, obviously, you know, it's about three, four days until the next season starts. And then you have those three weeks to get the card. So who knows? We'll see what happens. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to kill a like button. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, peace.